Hello guys and welcome to another uh, video tutorial on XML uh, tutorials and in this video we'll talk about namespaces okay so to start before we can uh, do an example using namespaces I want to talk to you about prefixes as well so we use prefix um, when we have for example um, the same name for two different uh, elements okay or type of elements. So as you see I have here um, a table but a table uh, HTML table okay where I have a TR and a TD okay and then I have two uh, names John and Alex okay this is uh, referent to an HTML table okay and then I have a table here referred as a coffee table okay and that uh, might create a little bit of confusion to um, XML and uh, as we parse it and to define that these are two different elements or type of elements this is HTML element and this is XML uh, element normal um, we can uh, type a prefix before the name um, of, uh, of table okay and in here as well so I can give it a prefix of, of a prefix of a and then you have to type colon okay and you have to type it before uh, the TD here as well uh, in all tags and uh, and closing tags as well here okay after the slash in here so this identifies all um, this kind of data or type of data as uh, a column table okay and in here let's give a B B B this will avoid some problems okay um, when we parse this kind of data now that we have a prefix what we will need is to um, use the namespace okay and we use the namespace in here okay so to call a namespace or declare a namespace uh, we type XML and S okay um, and in here uh, equals sorry colon and uh, 8 okay which is the prefix that we are using inside uh, the, this element and the child so a so this is going to be referred and now we type HTTP uh, www.w3.org tr HTML 4 okay uh, now why the hell do I uh, put this URL in here okay uh, this URL, if you guys want to try and um, put this in your browser and see what page is this, um, this is the URL to the official uh, standard um, Web3 Consortium uh, HTML4 page. Okay, so basically, it, this is the official page for the um, language uh, HTML4 okay or uh, HTML as well or XHTML um, so what I'm saying here is um, relate this link okay or declare this link as the official standard for um, these um, these tags okay or whatever is with the prefix a and this will uh, make um, recognizable to HTML okay in an XML file okay so now XML inside even if we are declaring some uh, HTML tags in XML so uh, that's no problem at all okay you can put uh, HTML code or tags in here inside the, um, the XML file uh, as long as you recognize it or declare it as HTML with this URL, okay, um, with the namespace, 
okay so this is what we call uh, XML namespaces okay um, so now these uh, all these uh, namespaces are recognized as um, HTML okay now down here this is going to have also an XML namespace B and this is going to be equal and this is another URL this is you have to type here the official URL to um, to uh, table for example okay so you can try um, and type here whatever you want so for example let's say furniture furniture dot um, sorry dot com slash and then you can type tables okay so uh, we don't need to put uh, the URL um, to standard uh, this uh, text as XML because we already are inside an XML file okay so what we do here is to give a unique URL uh, ID to these um, prefixes or to the prefix B okay so I just uh, invented here uh, URL furniture.com.tables okay that's just for um, unique identifier proposes only okay you can type here whatever you want but here um, you have to type the official page of HTML4 okay um, so basically that's it that's how we uh, declare uh, XML namespaces or identify XML namespaces with the a prefix and uh, the URL okay uh, a lot of you guys probably saw this in uh, also the doc type declare uh, declaration in an HTML um, document. Why is that? Because HTML or XHTML is um, a um, is a XML as well. Okay, it's an XML file. Okay, it's a markup language, but um, instead of um, normal XML it's an hypertext markup language okay so XML as you know stands for uh, extended markup language and uh, XHTML stands for uh, extended um, hypertext markup language okay that's the only difference between uh, XML and XHTML is the H which stands for hypertext okay so it's uh, it's used for uh, to output um, something in a web page okay or uh, to output something in the web okay so XMLNS um, you now know how to use this and what it is and uh, that's it uh, see you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe bye hi guys this is just a little update for uh, this video I forgot to mention that you'll need, in order to see this in the browser, you'll need a root tag or parent tag. Let's call this root. So make sure you have the root tag, otherwise you will not be able to um, output this in the browser. Okay? Make sure you have that. If you go now to Chrome, this is what you'll get. Okay? So that's it. See you guys in the next video. Bye.